Hi, Koei Post viewers. Uh, it's really a pleasure to have Dr. Nitin Gatpande with us, uh, former group director at the Mangalyan Mission. Uh, hello, sir. How are you? Hello. And uh, it's a Hi. pleasure to have you in uh, Coimbatore. And uh, sir, you're here at uh, Irobo Chakra Robotics yes. Academy. Yes. And uh, sir, to start with, like the importance of robotics in ISRO in space missions. Um, well, I would like to first congratulate iRobo Chakra for uh, conducting this uh, Sarva Vidya Fest 2018, where they are uh, inculcating the idea of robotics, which is the future, in uh, various uh, activities in industries and, and as you see, uh, drones and so many other activities. So I want to congratulate them and I feel happy to be part of their celebration and they called me here so let me congratulate them and uh, wish each and every participant a nice uh, uh, takeaway from this fest going to happen. And uh, coming to space, uh, uh, we have uh, very futuristic missions of, like we have Chandrayaan 2 where we will be uh, putting a a uh, rover on the moon surface for the first time and that will be traveling and a uh, lot of uh, you can say uh, there will be a lot of intelligence or you can in a way view it as a, a robotic uh, science in a way okay if not exactly so uh, sometimes these are uh, where a machine is supposed to take an intelligent decision we call it as artificial in we put into it so to a great extent that these sort of missions are going to come with a lot of uh, in independently evaluating the performance and without ground intervention they will be taking certain decisions and uh, so you mentioned about artificial intelligence uh, how do you think it's gonna change the whole uh, space science thing and how space research uh, it won't change the entire space research but in parts and in some crucial areas uh, like whatever I told like uh, in Mangalyan also in a way uh, where the satellite is not visible uh, or certain due to various reasons of orbits of earth mass and the geometrical positions of the sun and the mars and mars uh, orbiter mission itself uh, satellite uh, the, uh, the it has to be put in a self autonomous mode yeah. so when we say then uh, we have to build intelligence in that to take crucial decision because the signal takes this deep space mission the signal takes almost like uh, eight minutes seven minutes one way and back uh, it takes a lot of time so we can't wait for this much time for our intervention so they have to be self-sufficient so these are very important and if not entire uh, change it will add, it adds to the strength of our uh, to our technology okay. and uh, maybe this constitutes perhaps five ten percent but a major uh, uh, um, quite challenging although it's a small percentage right now <laughs> so may not change totally, but uh, it's uh, in bits and pieces it will be there. So uh, you are the former group director for the Mangalyan mission, and uh, Mangalyan mission, uh, as we read, uh, it was like a short span mission. Like you had to launch it immediately uh, because uh, the launch time was very less. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like you had a very, very short time uh, before very launch. Challenging schedule to meet uh, because, as you rightly told, the launch uh, window is very close. Uh, if you miss a certain window, the next you will get uh, in the same Sun, Earth and uh, Martian mass geometry, you get uh, about 7.30, 7.40 days it takes to come back to the same position. In which position you require minimum energy, you require uh, you whatever desired orbit you are going to launch in Martian orbit. Several parameters are there which decide that time. But if you miss that time, it is going to come only after uh, 780 days, 7750 or something like that. It, it's a long period. So if you have to aim, uh, so that some such opportunity was there in 2013, 2014. But we had to plan it three years before and two years before and it was taken on a crash basis and then everybody worked for that highly challenging and uh, we had to use some most of the places proven systems because we can't be reinventing wheel and keep on doing research so i would say that uh, about 90 beyond 95 percent of the systems were 
uh, having a proven space history. So, space science is often perceived to be something very complicated. So, how do you think students are uh, interested in space science and youngsters like you, uh, we saw Kalamsat uh, coming up from here. So, how do you uh, think students are getting interested in it? Yeah, students are getting, uh, what is happening, there is an entirely new branch of small satellite systems is being uh, thought of, where instead of launching a very huge satellite, the nowadays we are seeing that in various uh, universities abroad and all that now many people are making a 10 kg satellite 8 kg and the entire function is being done so last up to beyond 2020 2022 this uh, small satellite market professionally also is building up so now what is done that uh, if not at that professional level students are getting into because college they want they can uh, make a satellite they get an opportunity so and uh, uh, but at the same time these with this experience maybe uh, this small scale uh, small satellite industry is going to build up in a very big way in next coming future so this will certainly help them in uh, uh, join, uh, with good opportunities finally to people who are aspiring to be part of the space mission what would you like to say ISRO? yeah isro and uh, like space research aspirants uh, space scientists aspiration is important but one doesn't have to really struggle and say that uh, I will, oh, let me do this also, how I can get in. That sort of panicky situation is not there. One does sincerely his studies or his uh, uh, thing comes out with good uh, marks or uh, proper understanding and things like that. Then there will be examinations, etc. And then that way you can enter into our ISRO. And of course, uh, there are various possibilities of going to NASA, etc. Many top people, uh, students from IITs and all go there. They do MS and then enter through other area. Okay. So that way, uh, I don't think any special uh, thing is required. What you require is a confidence and intelligence. I not very this one, but uh, uh, normal sort of things. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.